a bit this little setup to emulate uh, what an RV system actually would be in here. Uh, there's uh, on this side over here, there's uh, the solar side, and on this one there's an inverter side, and down here is a shunt, and I have uh, two batteries out here. The shunt is also providing information to this uh, Victron that actually is telling me how much is going in and out. Um, to put a load on the inverter, there's a little space heater over here. Uh, it's a 250 watt on high, but it's uh, put some load at least on the inverter out here. So uh, since the battery is not fully charged, I can constantly monitor how much is actually going on in here. Right now, um, this one is running through the cables coming out here. There's around uh, 30 feet of cable. It goes over here to these two uh, solar panels that are set up uh, currently actually being linked together with these uh, parallel connectors. So each of them, are, or the output is at the same volt, uh, but it will actually be uh, with uh, twice the amount of current in here. So if we go back and look at the little um, solar control in here, she's putting out around 19.4 amp right now uh, and 260 watt. But let's go reconfigure it. So instead, uh, we would actually have them in series in here. So I'll shut off the solar uh, and I'll shut off the controller. Since no current is running, there's really no reason uh, to actually um, go and uh, undo the connections or cover the panels uh, in here. So the panels has now been reconfigured. Uh, instead, uh, there's now one wire going to one panel, continue going, it connects to the next panel, and it then goes in here. Uh, so that's what is uh, the series mean in here. So let's go back and turn on the controller. First, you turn on the controller always um, before you actually turn on uh, the solar input. But as I now turn on the solar input, it should start uh, seeing a, a different. So you can see before we were getting 249 watt. Now we are actually getting 266 watt in here and we're getting 20 amps output. This one is an MPPT controller. So it didn't really matter what voltage it comes in at in here. So in that way, uh, it is uh, going to work uh, fine uh, for this one. And we actually get more output because we have less losses uh, in the wiring uh, getting here. But let's uh, try go and cover one of the solar cells in here. So I just covered uh, one cell in here uh, partially. So I have half a cell in here. And I had 266 watts before. As you'll see, I get less of half the output simply by a single cell being covered in here. That is because all the cells are in series. Um, if one cell can't produce as much amps, uh, then all the other one is limited to that level. Current is really not that uh, big a deal, uh, or voltage don't really change a lot, but the current is what happens in here. So removing this uh, again, uh, should now bring it up to around the 270 watt uh, that uh, we had before. So now it's up around the 260 watt again. If we try go back to uh, the parallel one, I'll try to do the same test in here. So I'll go reconfigure it uh, for parallel again. So the panel are now back to being configured in parallel. Uh, each panel will now output the voltage and it will be added together the amperage in here. So as you see it's now outputting less and that's actually because of losses in the wires. The amperage are higher so we're going to lose more in the wiring. But let's go cover up one of the cells now. So I covered up half of the cell in here uh, as I did before. Now instead of having half the output I actually have a fair amount of output and that is because only one solar panel actually got to be covered. Um, the other ones still produce the full output in here. And that is the main difference between the serial where you lose all of it based on the 
weakest output or parallel where you use loose only from one panel. Parallel of course has the problem that you end up with a very high current so we had less output because of the current being so high in the solar wiring. You can to a certain degree get around that by having thicker wires but parallel in general causes issue especially with panels that output lower voltage like the one we are testing with here.